the next few minutes, not long at all. God is talking to you again. Won't you tell somebody that? Say, God is talking to you again. It's one thing to praise him, but it's something else to want to praise him. I can tell you to praise him, and you can praise him just based on me telling you to do it. But it's something else when you want to praise him when no one tells you to do it. You just praise him because he is. Because he's awesome. Because he's mighty. Because he's the almighty. Just because of who he is, I praise him. We can all stand and say, if it had not been for the Lord, there's some things that you know it was only God that brought you out. It was only God that made a way. It was only God that opened the door. You can't get credit. Matter of fact, the Bible even encourages us to study by saying study to show thyself approved. I understand that, but nothing that you do supersedes what God has already done. Uh, when you are real, when you are a real praiser, you don't really need no music to help you praise him. Look at somebody say, I don't need no music to praise him. I can just praise him based on God being a good God. Yes, he is. That's why when you come to a Pentecostal church, sometimes you'll hear somebody stand up and say, when I think of the y'all ain't helping me, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, Everybody in here has the same testimony that somehow in the course of your life, God opened the door. God made a way. God made every crooked place straight. God held you when you didn't want to be held. When the enemy came upon you, somehow God put a hedge of protection around you. God is a relational God and he wants your praise. You don't believe it the bible says let your light so shine before men god help me that they may sweat see your good works but give glory unto your father my god the glory is not just in the pulpit the glory is inside of you the fact that God has put his spirit on the inside of you. That's the glory of God and you don't have to be a preacher in order to work for God God is waiting to hear how he brought you out of the nightclubs and breaking it down and dropping it and twerking it and twisting it, uh-oh, and spinning it around. And I want to tell somebody, my God, yeah, you might have made some mistakes, but don't let your mistake become what you are in your present. My God, don't be a victim. Don't be a slave. Don't be a prisoner of your past. My God, use your past as a stepping stone to victory. Use your past. My God, yeah, you can look back on your past and see how far, my God, you've come from. Look at your past, my God, and notice what God has done for you. My God, you'll never know uh, how awesome God is until you can look back and see what God has brought you out of. I know that God can turn things around. My God, I know that God can flip things over. I know that God can, my God, take something dark and make it light. God can take sin and wash it away. Y'all ain't helping me. But it was the blood of Jesus that washed your soul. It was the blood of Jesus that cleansed your mind. It was the blood of Jesus that broke yokes and shackles off of you. Yeah, you still might have a little residue. But my God, I've come to tell somebody that God is still working on me. And when God gets through with me, Y'all better help me preach right there and tell somebody, I feel God pushing on me. God is working on me right now. Matter of fact, I just heard the Holy Ghost say, I'm doing surgery on some of you right now, even as you stand there and throw your hands up. God said, I'm working on your mind. I'm working on your life. I'm working. Y'all ain't helping me. I'm working on your attitude. I'm working on your spirit. I'm working on your relationship. I'm working. I'm working it out. 